Welcome to Wax Talk. Listen to conversations revolving around the business of waxing and the beauty industry. Business advice, technical tips, and honest talk answering questions no one has dared to ask. As a thank you for listening, use promo code PRPODCAST30 when you shop at syrapill.com. Additional terms and conditions may apply. Hi, everybody. I am Callie Van Elst, and we are here on Wax Talk by Perron Rago. Um, and we have today with us Kelly Westbrook, and she is the Vice President of Member Development for My Salon Suites. I am thrilled to have her here today because I have so many questions, and I think the listeners are going to learn a lot about having their own business in a salon suite or if they are ready for that or if it's for them. So welcome, Kelly, and tell us about yourself. Tell us who you are. Oh, Kelly, thank you so much for having me. Um, As you said, I am the vice president of member development for my salon suite. This is my 36th year in the beauty industry, so I'm really excited to be able to um, share a little bit of my journey. Uh, It really did. I'm a hairdresser from the 80s. I'm very fortunate that I am from the New York market and I had some great salons around me that I was able to work in. As an active hairdresser, I moved into er, early, I moved into education and sales. I fell in love with the sales consultant that came in selling us product. I'm like, how do you do what you do? I want to do that. And I found a whole nother world in education primarily that just it rocked my world. Um, From education and sales, that led me to live all over the country and be able to coach salon owners and educate for some of the best brands. Um, And then the last 13 years before I came to my salon suite, I was running Paul Mitchell Cosmetology Schools and uh, 13 years I was with them. I also educated for them beforehand and got to learn a whole nother world um, when it comes to the future professionals, cosmetology students, um, the world of post-secondary education, very different than the continued education that we have regularly. And then um, when I realized I was ready to make a change, what did I want to do? I wanted to continue to coach. And that's mm-hmm. when I fell in love with sweet ownership. Um, I was myself during my my active uh, practicing times a freelance. I did wedding hair. I used to go to people's homes in the early 90s. Um, and it was a very radical thing to do at that time. And uh, so I have a, a passion for the sole proprietor. So I found a good spot here for me. I love that. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of the a lot of this industry, the beauty industry, you know, as time goes on, so many things stay the same and so many things change. And it's funny because for me, you know, it was a different it was a different time. But, you know, it was the type of thing where when you graduated cosmetology school or aesthetic school, you really like the goal was to, you know, work for the best salon under the best names. And Mm -hmm. that's where you would get all your education. You would learn from others. A lot of times, even in that time, you know, they would have in-house classes or bring brands in. And it was really about who, who you worked for. Right. And it's so funny because now, and I see it and I don't, you're, I'm going to let you tell me if it's true, but what I, and this is why I wanted to have you on because I am feeling a shift in our industry and, and you know, we we're syrup whack. We see, you know, a change in this industry right now. And what is happening? I see it on social media a lot too. Everyone is like, okay, you know, I graduate school in three weeks and I'm going to go rent my own salon suite. And, you know, people are like, what, you know, how much am I going to charge? And what product am I going to bring in? You know, and they're asking on like a Facebook group, (laughs) you know, all these questions. And I'm like, this is fascinating to me. Like, it is so different. It is just so different than what I would do. But times have changed. So do you feel like there has been a shift in the industry with people going to bring their business to salon suites? I would say, um, is there a shift in the industry? Yes. 
but it's there's more people right new options right so there's more opportunities than there were in the past um Mm -hmm. and i think that related to our entire industry right when i say our industry i'm i'm looking at beauty health and wellness i do package all of that together because our industry has expanded Mm -hmm. so much but when it comes to professional beauty health and wellness there are so many more options for someone and becoming a business owner isn't as scary as it used to be. It sounded Mm -hmm. like such a heavy lift. I know I can speak for myself. I mean, in the late eighties, early nineties, I couldn't even imagine being in the shoes of my boss. Like it wasn't even a thought to me. Um, But today by having sweet concepts, uh, by having chair rental, um, by having, uh, theater work, um, anything that's on the go in the, in the freelance world, if, if you will, um, those are options we really didn't have. And, and if they were around, you needed to know somebody to get into it. True, true. You're right. Because there was a time in the nineties, even late nineties, early two thousands, it was what I wanted. I was ready. I wanted a suite, but like you couldn't, I couldn't figure out because at that point I had a huge clientele. I had the experience. I didn't need really education even, but I couldn't like there weren't resources really. And I felt like, how, how am I going to do this? You know, like, so let's say someone is thinking about like, how does someone know if it's right for them? Well, I think there's some soul searching that has to happen. There really is mm-hmm. some deep, deep inside. And, and I like to break it down in, in three different types of people. Um, Mm -hmm. The first person is somebody like myself. I love working for people. I love being an employee. I love learning and training with the team. I love having a boss that holds me responsible or a company that holds me responsible. I love hitting goals. And then I like going Mm -hmm. home at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Right now, in the beauty industry, we all love what we do. I I think Mm -hmm. we're all emotionally very connected to what we do because we have such a special... Uh, ability to a wear our heart on our sleeves, but also to be very empathetic and very sympathetic. Like mm-hmm. we just love what we do. It's more of a mm-hmm. lifestyle, I think, than anything else. Um, but true. I knew. I, I mean, however, I was hustling in my twenties. Mm-hmm. I was going and doing wedding here on the weekend for myself. So I didn't realize it, but there was a little entrepreneurial spirit, right? Mm-hmm. So you have the person that really likes to work for people, and then you have an individual who has a desire to have a team. They want to have employees. They want to be the person who creates the opportunity for other people. They want to be the person who can create trainings and bring them on uh, experiences in their life. They, you know, have the holiday parties. There are people who actually want to take on the responsibility, be the boss and the owner of the business, and then hire a team. And then there's that third, um, I'll say bucket. Uh, you have that third group of people who just have that burning in their belly. They're, they're individual, independent person. They want to be in it for themselves. They're not necessarily interested in an employee and they definitely aren't interested in working for somebody else, but understand they need that in order to experience the type of business owner they Mm -hmm. want to be. So you've got the I want to be a really great employee and have a career with a company. You have the individual who wants to be the boss and have their own team and own their own business. And then Mm -hmm. you have the person who wants to work for themselves. So I'd say the first step in, in recognizing if this is for you or not is where in that do you lie or what step are you in? If you think you want to work for yourself or you want to create employment opportunities for others and be a boss of a business. If someone has decided, no, I have an entrepreneurial spirit, I want to go into business for myself, I am looking for a salon suite to do this in, Do is there, if they decide to go with like a my salon suite, is, are there resources for them? Like, or do they just rent the space, go to work and, mar- you know, just do their own thing? Like, how does it work? That's a great question. Um, there, there's several. It's such a good question. And I love that you're asking these because I don't think they're asked enough. Um, yeah. Really, there's there's a different. There's so many different opportunities 
when it comes to different sweet concept brands. Um, there's also chair rental opportunities, uh, which sure. is not the same. Others, you know, sometimes they get blended, but they're very different. And then there's mobile or or the freelance that we talked about, right? So sure. let's just talk about rent based, right? I think mm -hmm. that would fall more in line with the questions that you're talking mm -hmm. about. So when it comes to sweet concept, there's many out there. Uh, we are so fortunate to be out as long as we have. We've been in business over 15 years. Um, we have mm -hmm. over 10,000 members who we call oh. our sweet owners. We call them members because they're part of our community. Um, wow. We're going to, we, we are, we are so happy. So if the number says anything to you and that's our brand, right? So now think about mm -hmm. the scope of that. Um, True. The first thing I would say is, if this is the decision that you want, you want to go visit everywhere. You want to go and mm -hmm. see everything that's in your community. And whether it's in your neighborhood where you live or the area that most of your clientele is, that's what's most important. Um, so when you're looking, True. For, when you're yeah. looking for a place, mm -hmm. it isn't always about us, right? Think about how many of us yeah. commuted into a metro area, but we lived in the suburbs, right? Like I lived mm -hmm. on Long Island, commuted into Manhattan. You may live yes. in an area in Illinois, commute into Chicago. So you mm -hmm. have to think, where do you want to be? That that probably mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Second thing is, do you want to rent a suite and have your own four walls, a ceiling, and a door that closes? Or mm -hmm. do you want to be in an environment to where you're actually renting a chair, which is a small space, within an existing salon that has an hybrid opportunity for you, or maybe may have full chair rental, and then you have a different environment. So it's still, or in mm -hmm. your a table or a chair, depending on the service. Some mm -hmm. of the salons have back rooms that they've converted into spa-like opportunities, still yeah. a rental. So you really need to know what's that feel you want. And when it comes to who you choose, well, of course, I would love to see everyone come to us because we have a tremendous mm -hmm. amount of resources that I feel bar none are the best from on-demand education, live education. Uh, we mm. have constant communication. We network with all of the different resources a business owner needs from income protection to health insurance opportunities for them to grab wow. onto. We introduce and refer them to great preferred partners that we mm -hmm. have in the POS world or in the insurance world so they can make the best decision for them. This so like, can they get product? We have great relationships with brands like yours um, mm -hmm. where they're able to access it very easily. The one thing, mm -hmm. this question, this is another little rabbit hole. We can go down here for a second. But the one thing our all, I should say all independents don't always think about first is mm -hmm. instead of going to the store and buying as Kelly, as I always did as a licensed professional, I need to go back to that store or call the sales consultant in and say, mm -hmm. now I'm Kelly of Kelly's chaos. I just opened my <laughs> own salon and I need to create a business account because when you open up a business account to buy your professional products, <laughs> there's great opportunities for you when you start up. Yeah. Right? Discounts, yes. opening packages, mm -hmm. inventory, uh, in, in like influx of inventory, I guess you could say. But mm -hmm. when you're in a suite or a chair rental environment, you have limited space. So you mm -hmm. need to be able to have those conversations with the real person on the packages that are going to be best for you. True. Yeah, because there's not always enough space. And some people, if they're just starting out, there's not always enough money um, to bring in, you know, three product lines or a whole, even one maybe, right? Yeah. And that, um, that I think is as independent stylists or service providers of any flavor, you need to be able to have those conversations and say, I have mm -hmm. limited space. I don't right. need 24 of each of these 30 products. Do mm -hmm. you have a package or can you create a package for me that's three? or four of each product for the space mm -hmm. that I have. And then this way you don't feel cluttered too, because that's a really important thing. I just feel like if if this had existed in my time, it would be brilliant because that's what I was missing. I wanted, I still need, I wanted a sales rep. I needed help. I didn't know what to get. I needed someone to just, you know, talk to. And also I felt like 
education. I still wanted um, those opportunities that you get through, you know, back in the day at the salon, like they would give you all those, you know, like salon centric or whoever, Mm -hmm. like will have classes for you. And to know that you can do that still through a salon suite, I think is very attractive for a lot of people. Um, how, how do they know when they're, okay, let's say, okay, so now they've determined I'm an, I'm very, you know, I want to be in business for myself and I don't want to rent it within a salon for a lot. I've done that actually. And it's fine, but there's so many, um, there's a lot of things that aren't in your control still. So right. then you're in the situation of, okay, now I have my own business and it's still a little bit annoying, right? Like whatever you can, maybe you can only come in certain hours. Maybe you don't have control over, I don't know, your own music or whatever. Um, so now you've decided I want to rent a suite and whether you just graduated school or or you have been in business for yourself for a really, or been in business, you know, working for someone for a really long time, and now you're ready to go out on your own. How do they know? How do they know when they're ready? Like, what do they have to do? That's a great question. Like, is there a checklist? Like, what? Like, yeah, what there work? are. There are checklists. Yeah. So, for instance, I have a great guide that I'm going to mm-hmm. share with you and your audience, so they can actually oh, look at this. Right? So we cool. provide those services for somebody who's thinking about it. Because you want to make sure when it comes to assessing if Mm -hmm. you are financially ready and also Mm -hmm. have the business knowledge, um, we're always going to say research, research, research. But what you what you want to know is equated to moving into an apartment. I think most of us have done that at one point or another or Mm -hmm. investing in something to where you need to have money up front in order to get yourself started and you Mm -hmm. need to have money in the bank to keep you going while you get started um Mm -hmm. the difference is and i like to use um you know it is a turnkey operation for the fact that you are responsible for signing a lease you have a deposit so you need to keep that Mm -hmm. in mind first and foremost finances you want them in check Mm -hmm. Second thing Mm -hmm. is you want to make sure that you know what services you are going to be performing. So Mm -hmm. if you worked for somebody else and let's just say, I don't know, let's just say uh, men's haircuts or -hmm. kids cuts. Let's take kids cuts because that Mm -hmm. that's pretty much, even though everybody, by the time you're 10, everybody's got the same size head, right? But (laughs) something like men's cuts or Mm -hmm. something that maybe is a quick service, respectable service, quick service, Mm -hmm. but maybe you just, it was never really your thing. And you want to be a blonding expert or if manicures were never really your thing, but you want to do artificial nails or you only want to be a pedicure specialist or you only, right? You see where I'm going. You want to just do full body and not only eyebrows. What you need to do Mm -hmm. is look at your menu of services that you could perform and only put on that menu what you want. What do you want to do? Because you're also carving out your brand, which is a whole nother Mm -hmm. conversation, but you're carving out, you have, what is it that you want to do? Then you need to look at your existing clientele. Do you have the clientele to sustain whatever your weekly rent is going to be. Because if you don't have the clientele sustain it, then you need to wait. Yes. Because Mm -hmm. you don't want to just sustain, but even on your worst week, if you have one, you want to know that you Mm -hmm. can still sustain. If that Mm -hmm. makes sense. And I don't want to, it's not like that financial pattern. There's no magic equation to this. It's simply put, if you have the clientele, to sustain Mm -hmm. your worst week, then you can start thinking about it. So going back to that, you have, you know, the services that you want, you assess your clientele. Now you need to go back to those services and I identify what you're going to charge for them. Cause up to this point, somebody else set pricing for you. You didn't set your own pricing. So you Mm -hmm. need to be able to be very comfortable with what you're charging because Mm -hmm. from this point on, no one's setting your prices for you. It's something Mm -hmm. that you have to do, which is why I always say start with your services, make sure you love them, 
Make sure you know you're charging your worth, your value mm -hmm. to start because you need yeah. to keep up on the regular increases as you grow in your career. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Do now. you... So what if someone is just graduating school? Like they're probably not going to have a clientele, but they not all. Always. Not always. Because maybe they've been doing it already on the side. It could be or that. like, because there's so many. I mean, it's every, like, it's literally like when I look at these groups, it's everybody. Like I swear, do you know a percentage of how many people now, like in the industry? I mean, I don't know. I feel it's, like it's. It's not. It. It's relevant right now. I think you're yeah. right because there's because we've we've spread out, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just one service provider. It's not just a hairdresser or just a barber or just an esthetician. It's mm -hmm. the entire spe spectrum of beauty, health, and wellness now that sees mm -hmm. value in renting space, right? True. Especially in the sweet concept. So that mm -hmm. therefore leads many more graduates, successful graduates that are looking to be employed and or become business owners of their own. So to your point, do I have exact stats? It's very difficult for, for us to get any info on schools. There's a lot of compliance on graduates, yeah. et cetera. However, mm -hmm. what I can tell you is from all of my years running a cosmetology school and watching mm -hmm. the graduates. And if any of them are on here, I'm so excited right now. And somehow. Oh, I hope they are. Um, I'm we'll, we'll tag them. Absolutely. I was so very lucky to be part of that group for so long. Mm -hmm. And I had probably, let's say over 2000 students graduate amongst three schools that I got to oversee. And wow. That's a lot. Went, it is. It's so exciting. Someone, oh, out of all that, someone will be watching for sure. Yeah, I had two here in Virginia, and then we had mm -hmm. one in Jacksonville, Florida that was a satellite location, but I had the pleasure of visiting regularly. Um, so with that said, let me, I digress. I'm going to come back. So, which um, is totally fine. <laughs> I, did, I did see success in the more mature students that came in, a lot of the night school students that we had uh, that mm -hmm. had full-time jobs that were deciding to career change. And mm -hmm. they came to school and when they got on the clinic, they were working to get a clientele. They were yeah. doing so much more than practicing. They were very focused on in business. And then we just had some incredible students that just rocked it out. And people would ask, mm -hmm. when are they graduating? When are they graduating? Because they were so excited to follow them on their journey. So to answer your question, is there a huge uptick? No, but we do see a steady increase of those joining us that have been in the industry less than two years. So yeah. I would put that in the category of newly graduated or early entry into the industry. Some people realize in the very beginning that they're one of those three. They started out and then they realize, wait a minute, I want to be my own boss. Mm -hmm. There's more encouragement to be an entrepreneur today than there's ever been before. There is so much more encouragement and resources out there. So I take it back to those three things. You want to assess where you are, assess that clientele, and if you can do mm -hmm. it. Um, and we'll say the same thing. There could be somebody that uh, joins us for a tour and they're graduating in six months from now. We share the same information. We want to make sure you make a decision that's comfortable for you. Do you right. feel this is where you are? Because it's not just about paying rent. It's also about protecting yourself, protecting your income, being able to buy all the supplies, the product that you need. So mm -hmm. there's a lot you have to sustain and we want to set everybody up to win. Do you, does like the My Salon Suites, do they help with marketing your own business or no? We have, yes, we do. We have great resources for all of our members that join that they can follow. We have on-demand classes on Google My Business. We have on-demand classes on basic social media setup. Oh, so the classes could be like business marketing even, but are they also technical like hair yeah. or no? So we, we oh. were very, you mentioned one of the brands earlier, Salon Centric. They are mm -hmm. tremendous supporters mm -hmm. in the independent space. And we work very mm -hmm. closely with them. And for several years, every Monday, we were highlighting one of their brands and we'd oh. have, 
we would have occasional product and technology, but our members wanted more business revenue generating profit mm -hmm. built classes. And that's mm -hmm. what we did. And we keep partnering with people like yourself. We want to be able yeah. to talk about these things. And then our members can listen to it whenever they want on their app. So we have everything on demand after. Oh, the so they have an app when they become a member, they have access to an app. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. And so it probably has so that's where they get all their education. Yeah. And all the resources to any all of the our resources. preferred partners. Mm -hmm. uh, we have preferred partners, like I said, from liability insurance, which is a have to have. To yeah, of course. Protection. We have a group called Empower. Uh, we work with Salon Centric there and there as a resource. They have a tremendous resource for the openings. Meyer Spa. Uh, your mm -hmm. brand is also featured on our app as well. Um, which is Square. Awesome. We're great partners with Square for over five mm -hmm. years. So everything you need. Oh, that's great. So then probably when they become when they become a member, they even have the Square because then they probably use the Square system for them, like the platform for themselves. Yeah. Oh. For, for making appointments as well as marketing and loyalty programs. Mm -hmm. Then the last thing I'll share that we do offer as well is every location we have um over 300 locations in the united states and one in canada every location oh. has its own website and each website oh. has a listing of the members that are are there for their business that their business is at that location and they each get their own web page where they can put their book on now link oh we're that's always brilliant. working to drive more traffic mm -hmm. so if you talk to me in a year from now callie mm -hmm. I, I believe we'd have even more ways for an entry level beauty professional to become mm -hmm. a, a sole proprietor a little bit sooner than some one would think because we're also helping to build that traffic. That's brilliant. And I, also, I think that's really great because then, I mean, they could easily like market within the location, right? Like, let's say I only do lashes, right? But all my clients want to, I don't know, get their hair cut yep. and their manicure or whatever. Like they probably market within the yep. location, right? And like That's promote each other. Members. Yep. They're all part of mm. a community and they do. I mean, it, yeah. it is interesting that, um, they leave an environment with a tremendous, like a team, right? They had 12 mm -hmm. other people that they worked with. Now they work for themselves. It's amazing how our industry, even on the other side of the building, they can connect with one another. Oh. Like we just constant connections. They do a lot of yeah. stuff locally. They do a lot of giving back locally, volunteering things for the community. I mean, they're all small business owners. So yeah. how many, like in each location, like how many businesses might there be in one location? Uh, we average right now about 30 suites per mm -hmm. um, location. Oh my gosh, that's huge. It's wow. Really it, it is some of, I mean, we have some as big as 60 plus suites and we mm -hmm. have some that are in and around 20 suites, but we can have anywhere it, the average is about 30 right now it's pretty incredible what our members not only bring to the community and their clients but what they bring to us i love it i love that they can be part of a community i think that is huge because and, and i love that they can have resources so if they just graduate they want to be they want to go into business for themselves now they have to figure out if they're ready emotionally and financially, they have to have like basically all their ducks in a row and do some planning. Then all the other details, being a member will help them with like their insurance, like get their products organized. Um, so we had like some talking points and I saw something um, for from your brand that said, it was a question that said, what does um, daily life look like for an independent beauty professional? So like, what does it look like? <laughs> that is awesome. I think focusing on all the great things, I, I, I have to preface this with, we spent countless years always mm -hmm. sending out surveys to our members to ask what's important to them, to mm -hmm. ask them what we're doing, making sure we're on point. And we would always move 
for the following 18 months based off what they tell us they need, they want, they love. Right. I love that. The number one word that always comes up, and I think we've seen this everywhere when it comes to any of the sweet concepts is freedom. Right. But what, Mm -hmm. what is freedom? Freedom is something different for everyone. And you mentioned one of those items earlier, like listening to the music you want to. Right. I yeah. think the sense of freedom, I, I always think of it, you know, like running through a field free. There's so many things I can do. The world is my oyster. Um, I could set my own hours. I can work my own days. I can listen to my music. I can go on vacation mm-hmm. when I want. I, mm-hmm. I can use the products that I want. But then you have to take a step back and say, does this work for my budget? That Right. Is that responsibility? Because yeah. guess what? You're the CEO. Right, you're yeah. the CEO, the CEO, the COO, the CFO, the CMO. Um, you're, yeah, you're- it's a lot, a lot of work, a huge yeah. responsibility. Yeah. yeah. So, what does it look like on on a on a day after you're established? You mm-hmm. come to work. You get in our case. You get in through our security system because we love to keep everybody safe twenty four seven. You take I love the- that. You open in, up your suite. You turn on your music. You get everything going. You get yourself ready for your first client. You th- you shut the door, and you're on your own. That's it. I right? love that. It's you and your client, and clients love the environment. At the end of the day, you tidy everything up. You could do laundry on site with us if you want to. You could take. It I was home. I was just going to ask: Is there yeah. laundry? <laughs> we do have laundry. We've got like that's like really cool. Like it tells you when it's ready, and I could go into all the features, but. You go home, right? You enjoy yourself and you can do it the next day. You get to choose your own hours. Let's talk about that. It's going to be, I mean, that's based, huge. It's going to be based on your clientele. Um, True. What have you already created? You Mostly everybody has set some sort of a boundary, but I, I really, it is, it's the freedom. But what I think is important is the business ownership aspect of it doesn't happen while you're with your clients. A hundred percent. It's got to happen before and after, uh, outside of your regular service schedule. So Mm -hmm. I always uh, try and create a best practice or share a best practice. You know, we would hope that every one of our business owners takes at least an hour or so a day and focus on their business versus being in it because we are Mm -hmm. yes people. And before you know it, if you don't pay attention and hold yourself accountable to your actual schedule, you'll be working 50, 60 hours a week because we don't know how to say no. Yeah, we're going to be squeezing people in. We're going to be coming in early. We're going to be saying And we don't have to ask anybody permission. So one Mm -hmm. one thing that that no one realizes is no one's telling us no. No Mm -hmm. one's holding us accountable to the schedule they gave us, right? So we tend to go a little rogue. So what does a day look like (sighs) on a perfect day? You show up, you turn the music on, you know, one of those days you may receive an order. You're going to have to stock your shelves, do inventory. It's very important that you take inventory. You get the products you need. Um, We always try and ask or recommend everybody do that one month at a time. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it happens week at a time, but setting, I mean, it's, I'd love to paint. I can paint a beautiful picture because I see it every day. I walk through our locations and everyone has a smile. When you're servicing yeah. your client and you're doing the things that you love, yeah, I mean, how can you not smile? And it's yours. Um, but yeah. we provide, or I mean, my salon suite, we provide a, a turnkey operation for them. They can get started very quickly. Um, mm-hmm. Minimal investment, which I think is another. Yeah. Uh, so what does a day look like? A day looks like freedom and creativity. And uh, which is what we all want. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. I know a hairstylist. She has her own suite and she works her it's phenomenal. So she works really hard for 3 weeks. She'll work, you know, like 10-hour days and then she'll go on she'll take a week off. Excellent. So like every every third like she'll work 3 weeks and then that for every fourth week she goes on a phenomenal vacation. <laughs> and she does this all year round and I'm just like because for her like having that freedom and that time to travel she's young she doesn't have kids like it, it's the reason why she is in this industry she can be creative have her flexibility and she doesn't have to you know ask anyone you know I worked 
I won't mention any names, but for a very large, um, well-known um, salon in Chicago. And like you couldn't, like, I mean, you theoretically, you could take as many days off as you wanted, but um, there was a lot of hoops to jump through to right. do that. Like sometimes, okay, like you can take this day off, but you need to find someone else to cover like these, out, you know, and it's like, oh my gosh, like you couldn't just be like, go into your portal and block off a week and then go on vacation. Like you couldn't do that. Right. So for people to have, I think, you know, I just think this, the newer generation is special. I mean, of course, salon suites, I'm sure are people of all generations. I'm sure yes. every, every age group and every gender and every, um, part of the beauty and wellness, um, category. But I feel like a lot of the newer people, they really value like their time and their experiences and travel. Mm -hmm. And so I think to be able to have your own suite and have that flexibility is something that really is attracting them as opposed to going to work um, for someone else. Yeah. And it's there. Like you said, it's theirs. Absolutely. So, and, and that, you know, that sometimes you'll see two emerging beauty professionals um sharing the suite or doing i've seen right that now. like the big suite where there's like two or three chairs yeah, yeah. how do and they do that though whose business how it's very much like a partnership it depends on locations it depends on brand mm -hmm. some offer part-time rentals right so it's a standard suite you don't customize mm -hmm. it so much it's there for you and I rent yeah. on every Wednesday and Friday and the other person's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm speaking very generally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but then double suites have always been there. When you have two partners that want to come together and they want to work for themselves and split everything, I may be a colorist. You may be a cutter. We work Oh, that so makes sense. There's so many different ways that we've seen people come yeah. together to do this, right? So I've seen that, but I've never, I couldn't, like I, it was literally not until just this minute where I'm like, wait, how do they do that? But yeah, you're right. Cause yeah. a lot of times, a lot of times people have already worked together for many, many years and, and then they, they want, want to, to and they don't want mm -hmm. to part. <laughs> they do not want to part. I know that. I know that. Yeah. I've been there and like, you don't, you, you want to keep those people around you cause we're each other's muse in many cases, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. you know, and that, and that is the thing when you become a sweet owner or an independent, you are on your own, but mm -hmm. there's still that opportunity for people to partner together. I mean, it still is a business that, that you're getting into and you have that option, but it depends. It could be, I mean, mostly everybody that's within the world is a leaseholder, whether it's it would be, I'm suite, sorry, two suites. it's okay. I got excited. <laughs> I can see it. I, I was like, there should be like, I don't know if you even have this, but there should be a suite that has like one hairstylist station and then one like almost like space for like an esthetician like me because when I think about that is does that exist or no I, it does or not, you could estheticians tend to be like a little more separated for the serene aspect of things yes but we have seen husband and wife teams we've seen brother oh. and sister teams to where they're doing their services so they have a larger mm -hmm. suite in some of the cases our suites have a pass through to where oh. one's doing microblading on one side and the other's doing barbering or mm -hmm. one's doing nails and one's doing you know i don't know injection whatever lash like, yeah or whatever we've it definitely is. Yeah. seen that there's like that tag team aspect of it that we've seen um it's you get as creative as you can and that's <laughs> why i say it's it's beauty health and wellness i mean we've got we have amazing tattoo artists. We have oh um, sculpting. We, I mean, we have massage therapists. I'm sure massage therapists, absolutely. Oh. Um, hair, nails, skin, um, brows from waxing mm -hmm. to microblading, lip blushing. We have some medi spas in the states that you're able to with lip blush oh. injections, like. It's IV. We have a tremendous amount of IV that's been coming in. Head therapy. Like, it's unbelievable how much. Our that's so have. exciting. It really I is. I didn't know that. It really is. And I want to try the 
the uh, do they wait when you say head therapy do they use the um like led light on the head we have the have led lights that? there's also the pulse water the that you've seen now there's also the water drape that comes over that has different pressure it's wait i saw that where you mean like the red light almost mask and then it mists the water at the same time yeah it's Is that I've, what you mean I've, I've not combined i haven't seen the red light and oh you're talking about the cool combined. the you're talking about the um the the water like the rain like the the hair like the scalp treatment yeah. where you come in and they basically are just shampooing your hair and they have that really cool oh my god i want to do that so bad we've got you, some is it a phenomenal yeah the the scalp treatment we could do a mm -hmm. whole nother conversation on that too it's i know a lost, it's a lost art i remember doing it in the 90s with some basic products yeah, uh, I remember. It's an area of expansion that's really important right now. I know I'd be able to. The, yeah, there's these, there's these spas that have opened, I'm sure, everywhere, but in Chicago, I think they're like spas where they you go in and you lay in the shampoo bowl and they have that the people that are listening can't see my hands, but it's like the the rain, it's almost like an arc of water that comes down your scalp and it's very cool. But they have like all these aromatherapy and flowers and oils and they put it in your hair and then all these tools to massage your scalp. It looks phenomenal. I can't wait to do it. My daughter and I were going to do it for Mother's Day. I think we need to put it back on the books, but that's a great idea for a suite. Yeah. I mean, there's, oh, there's so many my God. opportunities. Service-based, appointment-based businesses in mm -hmm. the beauty, health and wellness will thrive in, in the suite concepts. So, okay. So I think we've covered, okay. So they just have to like figure out their location, whether it's best for them or their client, well, probably for their clients. Um, and then do you guys, and then, so then you'll help them also with a platform. Cause then they have to figure out like a website, they have to figure out like a booking system or whatever. We have all of that available to get them started. And as they grow mm -hmm. in their business and become more confident and, and learn more as they go through us mm -hmm. and through resources and seeking out knowledge um as they grow we can grow with them because we have so many resources to point them in the right direction our ultimate well yeah because because obviously you want them to be successful because you want them to stay and you don't want them to come in and be set up for failure because i think back in the day like i know a lot of people that failed because they didn't know what to do and so they just went and rented a suite but like they didn't have clients they didn't have money they didn't even have insurance probably you know like it was it back in the day it was a free, there and there weren't like the place we would go and it wasn't that night you know it was just like the only option really <laughs> so i think times have changed and for them to have so much support and be part of um a com it sounds like it's like a, a whole community of it people is. it is and yeah. for us we built our community our resources and i mean we have a members first mentality but we built everything mm -hmm. off of what our members told us they needed and wanted. I mean, we really yeah. listened. If they were with us for a certain period of time, we asked a certain amount of questions that would help the next generation coming in behind them. And if they yeah. were for over 10 years, we asked them different questions. You know, if you've been with us for 10, 12 years, we want to know why, because that's mm -hmm. the magic sauce. And the magic sauce mm -hmm. that they tell us is what we do, because then it's right from member to future member. And mm -hmm. all we want is everyone to be successful in business, successful in life so they can thrive. And when the two of mm -hmm. them work out well, I mean, then life can be better. Taking vacation, like you said, starting a mm -hmm. retirement fund, being able to have the trip of a lifetime with your kids or your significant other, you know, being able to spend more time at the park with your four legged friends. Mm -hmm. it, it's just yeah. it's important to you. If I could have so, more time doing the things I love and sustain mm -hmm. my lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. So I think I understand like now why so many, why it's different, why it's changed because now so many people want to go into a suite because they have support. <laughs> Unlike how it used to be in the past. So if they want to, if everyone that listened is really excited and they're interested in a my salon suite, 
Mm-hmm. How do they, where do they go? What's the website? Where do they find you guys? Uh, they can find us everywhere as my salon suite. So my salon awesome. You could, there's okay. a drop down menu to find a location. You could book a tour right from that menu. Once you find where you want to go, um, mm-hmm. and you follow us on Instagram or Facebook or any of the other socials. We are my salon suite is our overall brand. And then each of our locations also have their own uh, platforms. On social media. So we, we are out there. We we're doing some series right now on this topic. You know, we want to provide knowledge to people that are thinking about it. There are places to go. We're here to give you awesome. information to help out. Awesome. So everyone that's listening, we will have um, in the show notes, we'll have links to everything. Um, We'll also have a download, which is really exciting that you can um, get more information and learn like if this is good for you and kind of like the stepping stones that you need to take to make, you know, to kind of like a checklist, you know, make sure that you're ready um, to help you. And um, thank you so much, Kelly. This is so much good information, especially for me, because I'm just like, what, what is happening in this industry that everyone's going solo? But I can see why they have everything they need. And you know what? I think it feels that way. But like I said, it's just more options for somebody who comes out of school and enters into our industry. There's yeah. more options now. And We've never as a society promoted and supported entrepreneurs like we do today. So everyone, yes. they believe it. The confidence building is happening where I can do this and mm-hmm. uh, we're one of those options. And I, I hope that we continue to see that. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you so much because I know you are a very busy person and I think this is great. I just, I hope everyone learned a lot about what to do, what not to do, how to start out. And um We'll keep the conversations going and um, just everyone listening. I'm just like so excited for everyone that gets to be in this time, right? And to be able to have their own business so easily. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I look forward to doing more. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. And be sure to sign up for our newsletters on our own website, syrupill.com. Remember, it's more than just talk about waxing. We're here for you. You are not alone. And as a thank you for listening, be sure to use our promo code PRPODCAST30. It's in all caps when you shop at syrupill.com. Additional terms and conditions may apply.